YouTube, I am back with another reaction video, and we got how much Michael Jordan will score in today's NBA Legends Answer. Let's get straight into this video, man. You know, we uploading back to back to back to back. I'm going crazy right now with the uploads, man, but let's get straight into this video, y'all. We ain't gonna waste no time. Excuse if you're hearing my air conditioning, just hot, so I'm gonna definitely mute my mic in the middle of the video. But uh, yeah, if I got something to say, I'll definitely just pause it. But let's get it, man. We in this zone. Let's get it, get it, get it. Like a lot of former NBA superstars, Michael Jordan's greatness is slowly being taken for granted. As the years fly by and more and more stars add their own names to the history books, it's getting harder to remember just how great MJ was during his prime, even for those who watched it. Good thing Jeff Van Gundy is still around to get us back to reality. On an episode of the Ryan Rossillo podcast, the former NBA head coach Van Gundy emphasized why Michael Jordan would average 40 points per game if he was playing in the NBA today. Gundy highlighted Jordan's playing style, efficiency rate, agility, and dominant scoring ability as the main reasons why he would be an even bigger star than he already is in the modern day NBA. If you would give the ball to Jordan in his prime with these rules, with all the shooting, and think that he wasn't going to shoot over 50%, he, he shot over 50% with limited three-point shooting, so his limited space in the triangle offense and the hand check or decapitation defense, you know, like whatever you you you, you employ, right? At the very least, it was hand checks, and at the at the highest form of physicality, you know, the Pistons or the Knicks, you know, trying to you know take your head off. So there's no question he would have led the league in scoring. No question he would have played. Uh, he was shot over 50 percent, lived at the free throw line, and like you said, I think he absolutely would have been an outstanding three-point shooter because of you know right. practice work and it just being a you know a more emphasized uh point of view now to, like all right that being said would he average 50 i don't know he's not averaging 50 but would he have averaged 40 that's quite possible jordan led the bulls to six championships when the physicality was at its peak in the nba in the 90s while tech calls are handed for verbal disagreement in today's league, the 90s were a completely different affair. Moreover, Michael Jordan had a remarkably applauded trait of adjusting his game as per the change in rules. Now with the game focusing more on three-point shooting, there is no doubt that the Hall of Famer would have a better efficiency rate than 32.7 career three-point percent in the modern-day NBA. Adding to this, the era in which MJ earned a name for himself was one where defenders were given absolute freedom to play harder defense on the opposing team's score. Whistles were not blown for every illegal contact, which is something you would not witness in the league nowadays. In 2021, we broke down what NBA legends think on how much would MJ score in today's league. Here's a quick summary. 40 East, 40 East. Jordan, Jordan averaged 50. 40? He would average 40. Okay. I think he would average 40. If Michael played today, he'd probably average almost 50. I could see him really pushing up the four, and he'd be averaging in the four. Sure. He could easily average 50, get easily. 10 more than his highest year. So I think his highest year is like 35, 36. I think he's averaged 37 one year. Hembo will get us that. I, I think he averaged 37. He's more than that. Based on what you just said. And he probably would be somewhere around 40 a night. Man, Jordan averaging 45 and whatever else he wants. You average 45. 50 is too much. Not quite 50, but 40 points a game. You don't think Jordan would get 40? I may be underestimating the man. If Michael play in this era, the average is 50. They have a 50 points. I don't know why you guys discuss the goat. Why you discuss the goat? George Carl is another coach that faced MJ at his best. He was the brains behind the Seattle Supersonics in the 90s. Carl Sonics, led by... Yeah, I think Jordan definitely was, especially with these rules. Like, And then Jordan actually was playing like with the Wizards, too. I don't know how much points he was averaging, but he was playing with the Wizards, and he was balling out, too, at the time when he came out of retirement. He was balling, so yeah, definitely, for sure by Gary Payton and Sean Kemp, faced off against Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls in the NBA Finals in 1996 but fell short against that very legendary team. And Carl is seemingly tired of people questioning whether MJ is the GOAT, recently taking to Twitter to set the record straight. 
Carl tweeted that anyone who is debating Michael's GOAT status doesn't realize he would average a 40 points per game triple-double in the modern game. The part that is perhaps a little harder to believe is the triple-double. Though, in this fast-paced NBA, the great shooters and skill level around the NBA, it could make sense. Jordan won the scoring titles 10 times in his career and averaged a mere 8.7 free throws per game in a period where defenders would literally wrestle their way for the ball. Despite the NBA favoring the defensive players and their nature to attack the ball and the player, especially in the paint, MJ managed to average 28.2 points, 6.5 boards, and 5.9 assists per game already in his rookie season. This gives an idea of how Jordan fought hard to find a way to score against the tougher and more physical rules. Tell us in the comments, how much do you think Jordan would score in today's NBA? If you enjoy this video, hit the like button, share and subscribe. For more basketball content, subscribe to our other channels, Free Dawkins and Vintage Dawkins, and follow us on social media. Alright y'all, that wraps up this video, man. And definitely, uh, yeah, prom Michael Jordan. Oh yeah, for sure. Michael Jordan is a beast, man. I'm telling you, he was already balling when he was playing with the Wizards. I remember when he came back, he was he was doing this thing. He was definitely doing this thing. But uh, anyway, man, subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn on that bell, man. Going crazy with these uploads. We're going to continue to keep uploading, man. So definitely want to see consistent uploads and things like that. Just keep coming to this channel. I definitely want to have a lot of videos dropping like a lot of videos i'm about to probably drop after this video probably gonna see two or three more maybe probably like two more but i'm going ahead for this channel man this is definitely my second channel check out my first channel uh that fully boy now but uh yeah man we definitely uh going crazy with the uploads so definitely just keep you know tuning in hit that like button man hit that sub you definitely want to see consistent dropping videos i'm definitely in my bag right now so that's about it, man. I'm out. I'm on to the next video. I love y'all. Peace.